Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to be using the gel press and this time we're going to be using the Oxide Twisted Citron and our brushes to create our background. So we're going to ink up the brayer, transfer that colour that lovely, lovely lime green colour over onto the gel press. That's our base colour. And now we're going to take our brushes that have all been watered down. I'm going to just make sure my brush is clean. And then I'm going to pop some colours down. This is a real watered down cobalt, this one. I mean, there's literally just a few grains of the brushos. And that's all you need. You don't need much at all. This is the Prussian blue. And we'll go with some turquoise. And what colour shall we do? What colour is that one? I think we're going to go maybe with the purple. So maybe a little bit of yellow. Okay, so now taking our multifarious card and then we're going to pop that straight over the top and give that a smooth over. And let's see what we've got. Wow. That green is absolutely superb. Twisted citron. Just remember that. Um, it gives you a really nice sort of spring background colour. Okay, I'm just going to move that to the side. I'm going to trim that down. So it's still a little bit wet at the top there, so I'm just going to take my air there and just dry that down. Okay. So we have Raven here, our lovely stamp on a branch, our sorry, our fairy on a branch. And we're going to ink her up in the Nocturne. So make sure that she's completely covered. And then we're going to pop that down probably about the centre of the card. So give that a good press, let it sit for a while. And there she is. Okay, 
So the first thing that jumps out at me is that she definitely needs a moon popping over. And I've just got to think about the colours now that I want to put over the top. I think we're going to go with <clears throat> some the Monarch and maybe the Warm Breeze. So um, let's have a look. Smoothie. Glamorous. No, I think we will. We'll stick with the monarch. So make sure that you take plenty off. You know, less is more. And then we just work our way around the edge there. And this will really put the fairy in the spotlight. All the way around. Okay, and you can see that really does pull your eye into the centre there. Okay, so I'm going to take our little um, got a little leaf here somewhere so we'll use that and we'll use some berries and we're just going to add a little bit onto the branch here and we can make this any season we want you know you could you could do literally just berries or flowers um, or just different green leaves would be nice so I'm just going to ink up in the warm breeze now just test that colour first and then I'm going to just bob a few around like so and these pound stamps are great for building up on things like this You know, you can build it as high as you want or as low, you could have them hanging down even. So now I'm going on to the berries and I'm going to ink up in the glamorous this time. So ink up and we're going to just pop a few berries around, which should be quite nice. Okay, and maybe one round about here. Okay, so I think it'd be quite nice to have some trees down at the bottom here. So we're going to go back to the warm breeze. going to stamp that maybe one up there and then we'll go move to the twilight and we'll just stamp another one down there And that certainly now gives the illusion that she is up in the air. So I'm going to put a verse on now. It's got selfless courage, unite, spirit, uh, motivation, gratitude, compassion, inspire. It's got some really beautiful words. So um, check that out anyway on the website. We've got, what have we got here? We've got warm breeze. So let's try the warm breeze. And we just bob those lovely words down the edge there. A stamp off this time. And there we go. 
Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge of the card now using our smoothies. So I'm going to go back to Glamorous just to pop a little bit of the, that berry red. It's sort of like a pink red really. I'm just going to bring some of that colour in down here. And a little at the top here, just to balance that out. Okay, and now I'm going to go back to the warm breeze. and work my way around the edge and blend those two colours together. I still think we need something at the top here so I'm going to take one of my foliage stamps and just have something hanging down and I think I might try the glamorous Just by stamping in a different colour, it gives you depth on your card. Quite amazing really, the difference on that now. Okay, so I think we're going to go with um, some glitter. So all I'm going to do is pop the glue pen around the edge. Now, as I've said before, if you haven't got a steady hand, don't worry, you can always just dot around the edge of the moon. It will give you a very similar effect. And if you dot, you've got a little bit more control if you haven't got a steady hand. Okay, so taking one of our glitters, I think we'll use the turquoise. So let's just sprinkle that over the top now and I'm hoping it will stick because the glitter in this is so fine. We've got a really fine glitter and then a coarse glitter. So um, it gives you like two different colours. So you've got the green coarse and then the real fine blue. And I don't know whether you can see that but it has actually stuck to that. I think that gives a really fabulous effect. Okay guys, well thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. So take care guys. Thanks for watching, speak soon, bye for now.